Hi, I'm John Loyacano, but my friends here at Adobe just call me Johnny L. Well, most of them do. Some call me Mr. Loyacano, and well, some call me Mr. Johnny, and well, some call me John John. If you call me Big Johnny, and some call me Big Johnny John John, or JJ, or Mr. JJ, or JL, or John Lowe, or even just J Lo. Anyway, I'm really excited to be the one to announce Adobe Photoshop CS3 for Apple's iPhone. But this isn't just some scaled down version to fit the iPhone screen. It's at the full resolution of a 30 inch monitor. Here's the Photoshop CS3 toolbar on the iPhone. It's crisp, clear, and you can see exactly which tool you're choosing. Now let's scroll over for a quick retouch. So here we go. Okay, we're almost there. Just a little bit more. It's not long now. See, it's real Photoshop at its real size. Plus, it has all the features of Photoshop CS3 Extended. For example, let's zoom in on this red shirt. Now you can get in close and work really tight. Now let's zoom back so you can see how to use the iPhone's touchscreen features like the pinch move. See, look, I'm squishing your head. I'm squishing your head. Also, we've done away with warning dialog boxes in Photoshop. Instead, Photoshop actually calls your iPhone and tells you the warning. For example, let's say you try to move the background layer and it's locked. Ah, oh, see, there's my customer ringtone. That must be Photoshop calling me right now. We notice that you're trying to move the background layer, which is locked. Would you like me to unlock it for you by remote? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. All right, it's unlocked. Thanks. We're running a special on adjustment layers. Would you like me to add a curves adjustment layer to your layers palette for only 99 cents? Absolutely. Well, that's just a peek at some of the amazing features we've packed into Adobe Photoshop CS3 for the iPhone. For more information, visit adobe.com slash CS3 for iPhone. I'm Johnny L. I love you.